Last time on Dice Funk. Did the Archbishop of Riddlefish show up? Is that basically what happened? <laughs> it is below me, but it's fine as long as I get what I'm here for. And I want to remind you, they don't do the vibe check on this one. They just come back. There's a civil engineer known across the lands who goes by the name of Elfago. They uh, met with a terrible accident on a job site, but after waiting their turn in the queue and passing the vibe check, I think they are ready to join the community and be quite helpful building up uh, our little town. So you do all of this and build a community and you don't get any strength or power from your own out of it? Unless you consider knowledge to be power. I don't know. I do not. Then I guess by your metrics, no. I I don't get, like, uh, powerful or strong as a result of my work, necessarily. Mm. Well, uh, if you don't mind me asking, what do you plan on doing once you uh, bring your uh, master back? Why? I'm going to kill him. So all this work is just to bring him back and kill him just to prove that you're stronger than him? Yes. What else would I be doing it for? Okay. Why are you attacking us? What, what What's your deal? Allison, the Medusa, she is the one with the brittle star whips. She says, uh, so our queen kind of uh, bit the big one, died real hard, and our, our kingdom's going to fall unless we bring her back. Uh, and it's going to take years to wait in line. So it makes a lot more sense to just follow one of you priesty people out here and throw our stuff in the hole first. Uh, yeah, I can attempt to throw some shurikens back there and see if I can't uh, nail anybody in the eye. Uh, <laughs> uh, South Park. Uh, <laughs> now, now I botched. Never mind. I'm oh done. My- no! Well, I know what the botch is, too. I'm so fucking evil. Uh, you reach into your bag to pull out a shuriken and throw it, and you grab... I, I, I throw the fucking ch- chest piece, don't I? You absolutely throw yeah. the isopod scale that was entrusted to you earlier in this episode specifically. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's fail. C- come here. Come here, you <laughs> riddleless coward. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you two are going to duel in front of the Riddle Snake uh, as uh, the, this chase, all the other Medusa are catching up too. Uh, intelligent saving throw is the last of the Riddle's three washes over the group. Why did the cantaloupe jump in the ocean? Is it because it wanted to be a watermelon? <laughs> Uh, you and Allison both at the same time say watermelon uh, as the b- blast oh. of intelligence knocks the others back and you are dueling in front of the hydrothermal vent which erupts in golden light uh, like a fucking uh, volcano just explodes uh, this golden particulate as the well of resurrection opens next to you. Literally the, literally the only reason I didn't do the Borat voice and uh, the, the my wife, my wife at, at my wedding is only because there were press and reporters there. <laughs> it's the only thing that kept me from, for, kept, kept me holding it in. You would have been held accountable immediately. I would not have if wanted no it on witnesses. the record. I wouldn't have wanted the, the chance of a newspaper mentioning that in a story and therefore <laughs> can't, can't do it. Can't do it. Uh-huh. It's, it's, the, it's the main headline for the day. <laughs> Yeah, uh, lesbians get married up. on train. One of them does a Borat voice. <laughs> it, it doesn't even lead with any of that. Woman gets married immediately does Borat impression as the top headline. You're just like, you're like, there's got to be something going on in the world that's bigger yeah. than this. Because the problem is, there was video, like, you know, we we got wedding video footage as you know, wed- you know, many people do from weddings, but like. Some of that footage went to like press outlets, and like there's a chance that someone could have played a clip on on the news of going my wife on my wedding. <laughs> and I couldn't risk that. Couldn't risk it. 
I'm picturing the front page, and it's a picture of you and a picture of Borat side by side as if drawing some kind of comparison. <laughs> We have a little eel in the roll 20. Um, mm. I'm forgetting who this character is until I look at my notes for a moment. But eels have such funny faces in that uh-huh. I, I think they were designed specifically for the internet to take a picture and then put a little speech bubble uh, and then say <laughs> something. Because you could really, you can make that guy say anything right now. It would sound natural there's, coming out of his mouth. There's two kinds of photos you can do with an eel. It's my mouth is poised for a speech bubble and it's, I'm pleasantly shocked at what I've just seen. Those are the two eels. Mm-hmm. And sometimes both at the same time. Yeah. So last we left the adventure, uh, the party had gone to the Well of Resurrection. You've uh, solved the riddles three of the Great Serpent. Uh, and you were approaching the well when you were uh, waylaid by merfolk, specifically Medusa merfolk. So they all have like uh-huh. sea life coming out of their head, like Medusa has snakes. Uh, a lot of them have eels coming out of the top of their head. That's why there's that's, an eel picture. Okay. I, was like, I, don't remember, I don't remember an eel person recently, um, but now it's making sense. I really considered having a Yuan T or snake person who was an eel, but snakes and eels are just really not related. Uh, I am more related to an eel than the snakes are. Yeah, <laughs> they no, just did. no, you're not you're not in camp. Snakes and eels are basically the same thing with just differing <laughs> opinions on water. No, eels <laughs> are fish. They're a different guy entirely. In, but what about in the dice funk world? Maybe they're <laughs> the same there. I just um, picture you coming up to like some snake. And just being like, fuck you, I'm closer to an eel than you are. <laughs> and just berating the snake for not being enough of an eel for your standards. I was actually going to keep this to myself, but now that we're here arguing about sea life once again, I will say the whole joke of the 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 Medusa merfolk was, you know, in normal D&D, Medusa are humans who have snakes coming out of their heads. So I was like, oh, we'll do an underwater Medusa. You know, snakes are kind of like eels. But also, there is a creature called a Medusa. It's... Jellyfish. That is the term for adult jellyfish is medusas. So I was like, ah, some of them will have, um, you know, the the tentacles coming out of the top of their heads like like organs. Uh, But then I was burdened with a terrible knowledge, which is, uh, you know, Medusa and her sisters in Greek mythology are called the Gorgons. Gorgos Mm -hmm. means dreadful Mm -hmm. in Greek. Uh, All of these are details I definitely know. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah. So when this, when I had to decide what to make, uh, you know, what to make my Medusa jokes, I was unfortunately aware of Gorgocephalus, a sea creature. Do not Google this yet, my friends, because uh, I'm going to put a video of one. I showed this to Joa earlier, and she f- bodily flinched. So mm. here, <laughs> here, here is a Gorgocephalus, also known as a basket star. Oh, this thing's uh, so creepy. Oh. It's so cool. Look at that guy. Yeah, just move it. It's vibing there. It, Amazing. It's it's what if like the, the 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 fungus from from The Last of Us was like <laughs> was trying to reach up and get you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It People has, throw the word. Go ahead. It has this weird techno music playing while it's going on, <laughs> and it kind of mm-hmm. looks like it's trying to vibe to it. I don't think it is. I think these things are are asymptomatic, but. It does look like it's having a good time. It looks like a ghost accidentally inhabited it and was like, I was not expecting something with this many parts. How do I move this? Yeah, so uh, Gorgocephalus or basket stars are related to starfish. Uh, Oh, don't touch it, my guy. (laughs) (laughs) I don't trust that at all. (laughs) The word Lovecraftian gets thrown around a lot. Don't show off its little butthole. (laughs) (laughs) That's its mouth. That's its mouth. <laughs> oh my um, god! We both? It poops out of its mouth. Yeah, like mm-hmm. it does everything out of its mouth. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I should also say, doing a jellyfish research for this season was wild because uh, jellyfish do get impregnated through their mouth. So sucks to be them. I think uh, would have changed high school a lot for me <laughs> if I was a jellyfish. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, but I was going to say the word Eldritch or Lovecraftian gets thrown around a lot to just be like, ooh, spooky. But like these things are so severely like actually Lovecraftian in that they're like unknowable, alien, aquatic, and hard to wrap your mind around. They look like fractal. Like they're, this is, what if a starfish had it legs, had legs, had legs, had legs, had legs, you if, know? If I was in a space shuttle 
and I saw this in the space shuttle, I would go, nope, nope, we've been infected. We we cannot go back to Earth. We have to fly into the sun for, to save the Earth. <laughs> yes, let, let, yeah, let, let's just open the door, just just vet all of us out into space, into the sun directly. Uh, being in the same room as this is a death is a death sentence. <laughs> yeah, the first comment on YouTube is like, oh, this is from dead space. Uh, but no, ba- basket stars <laughs> are just in the ocean, uh, and they're they're a number of deep sea versions. And uh, we are going to start this episode with. I want to. Uh, I, I want to. Oh, no, follow- it's not. I want a follow up to this video that just says uh-huh. this poor person lost his hand. He shouldn't. Have touched <laughs> it. Uh, it, he holds it for far too long. I mean, it, it's it- got to be bad to do that. No, it's funny you say that. Uh, uh, all brittle stars are completely harmless. None of them are venomous. None of them actually that's, are even sharp enough to hurt you. That's just what they're telling you. That's just oh, what they're want. telling you, Austin. That's propaganda, yeah. yeah. I want 30 of them, then. <laughs> they only eat microscopic things that they kind of scoop into their butthole mouth, as we've talked about. But yeah, for the audience, I've, we've been talking about brittle stars for a while. I looked at these for like an hour, and I felt like my brain chemistry had been rewired. Because I'm, I'm an ape. I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm supposed to be in the forest eating berries. I'm not supposed to know about deep sea creatures like this. Something deep inside of me was rejecting this knowledge as inappropriate for, for my station. I'm gonna get you a pet brittle star, and we're gonna, we're gonna call it uh, uh something eldritch, but not um one of the bad man's ones. Uh, <laughs> Spuntolio. <laughs> well, we're gonna start this episode with Barbella. You used compelled duel on Allison, oh, yeah. the merfolk, yeah. whose hair is. Is a brittle star, which is a uh, well, you know, basket uh, stars are a kind of brittle star. So she is standing in front of the well of resurrection with you. She wields like long urchin spines as her weapon, and you two are going to have a one-on-one battle for the you know the ability to use the well as you were supposed to. She currently has both the remains of her queen and the the chitinous uh, you know uh, scale from the isopod you were supposed to bring back. So that's like this huge opening. I will say in the background, uh, Boyce and uh, Reaper, you were facing down about 10 other merfolk, eel and jellyfish types. Uh, Some of them are injured. One of them's head exploded. A lot of them have like nosebleeds because of the might of the riddle snake and uh, their, their, you know, intellect wasn't enough. And so a lot of them are dazed. They are one collective enemy. They are just the like the the medusas so that i have rolled initiative a three and a five for these two so bad a seven a nine for boys a 20 (laughs) i don't like that i rolled high um um so yeah this is the scene in the distance there is the massive underwater shape of the riddle snake it's just this long dark shadow it's hard to make out specific details of it in the kind of foreground uh, we see barbella and allison of the queen's guard are like squaring up and then there's the uh what's called a chimney of the under of the hydrothermal vent which is just spewing into the air uh just like white and gold uh particulate um this is like the first time i think on screen we've seen the will of resurrection but it's just like a holy light spilling out of it uh, Barbella, you're going to be up first in this duel. Uh, Allison has uh, an urchin spine in each hand as she faces you. Um, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm swinging with the crab leg. Um, I, I used a shit ton of magic already. I gotta, I just gotta go melee build for a while. Okay. First swing, twenty. Second swing, twenty. Uh, Holy uh, do shit. those both hit? Those both super hit. She cool. says, "Come on, protein paladin. Let's see what you're made of." Cool. Um, <laughs> and you, <laughs> you just leap forward and start stabbing. She's like, "Oh shit! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I was hoping these muscles were just for show, and you were actually a big nerd, but you're also really strong. <laughs> this sucks." Yeah, the greatest riddle of all. How did I get this swole? <laughs> yeah. Both, both of my, like, do I hit rolls were 20s. Both of my how much damage rolls I do were both 5s. Um, also one of those is go- uh, no, okay, yeah, that's it. 10 damage. Smack, smack. Crab leg, go. 
Yeah, so you have a long, uh, like, spider crab leg, which has been fashioned into, into a spear, so you have a lot of reach, and you slam it into Allison. I should say, uh, color-wise, she has the uh, pattern of this brittle star I have in the Roll20, which is almost like creamsicle, like alternating white and orange stripes is kind of her vibe. Mm. I think we talked before, Reaper, you're black and white like a killer whale. Boyce, you're like blue or bluish green. And uh, yeah. Barbella, you're red, right? Like side on. I, I mean, yeah, the the the, no, the, the, the reference is I am I'm I'm going side and with it, yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. So for the mental image, uh, you two are d- dueling near the golden spouts from the Well of Resurrection, and in the background, there's just this big melee. So we're gonna cut over there to there in a second. Allison says, uh, uh, "Riddle me this, nerd," <laughs> and starts sw- swinging at you back. Uh, she has. Okay, stats. She is the leader of the Queen's Guard for this deposed monarch, so she's pretty good in a fight. 18 and 9. Uh, 18 is exactly my AC. All right. Uh, and you came into this uh, fight after kind of a, a whole rigmarole. Oops. That's, oof. That's going to be 10 damage. Um, yeah. Almost max that. Okay. Uh, okay. So yeah. She stabs you with an urchin spine. Um, it doesn't get too deep, but it stings and burns because it is envenomed. <laughs> and she smiles at you Oof. and she says, no hard feelings. So I just, I'm doing my duty. You have to understand. Yeah, no, I get it. And my duty is to kick your ass and tell you you're bad at riddles. <laughs> I am, though. You got me for real, though. Um, <laughs> all right, a Reaper, you're up. Okay, so... Reaper had a bad show last time in a meta sense. I rolled very poorly. So I'm going to go uh, absolute ballistic here. And we're going <laughs> to, obviously, karma is going to come my way. And this is going to go extremely well. So there are how many people here? Like six, seven, eight, whatever. I said uh, there were a dozen and one died from not solving the riddle fast enough last episode. And Allison is split off. So there are 10. Okay. So there's 10 of them. I'm, I'm going to make my attacks. And I'm also going to spend one of my two remaining key points to do uh, an extra flurry of blows. So I'm going to have four attacks here, Austin. Uh, 16, 9, 11, and 9. How many of those hit? Uh, just the 16. God damn. Damn it. Life sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I wake up in the morning? Wow. This is, is that Reaper or is that you? <laughs> I kept trying to picture That's Shadow the Hedgehog feeling bad for himself. No. Normally he's like, her, I'm the superior life form. In her mind, she's like, no, I'm just warming up. I'm getting stronger. They got to get their licks in first before uh, I can power up to my, my truly strongest level. Uh, it's going to be nine uh, damage. Uh... I know my I say my fists are sh- covered in shadow, but uh, for the sake of mechanical purposes, they are just uh, normal bludgeoning damage, uh, but are considered magical for the purpose of overcoming is, uh, resistance and immunity to non-magical attacks. All right. You run up and just uh, punch one of the merfolk, and the eel on her head lashes out at you. Ten is going to miss, huh? Uh, yes, that is thankfully a miss. When an eel bites your face, that's a more, eh? Uh, and it's Boyce's turn. You were too ready with that. I've been looking at this picture of an eel for a while. It's driven me a little insane. <laughs> hmm, hmm. Boyce is still basically like riding on top of Gaudi at the moment. Um, and I'm remembering that I had casted haste on Gaudi last time. I'm not sure if it's still active because it lasts for a minute. Doesn't really matter. Um, I'm still going to keep track of concentration if necessary. What I'm trying to do is try to do some, uh, uh, crowd control so that uh, to try to help uh, Reaper from getting crowded or something. So what I'm going to do is attempt, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to attempt to cast Shatter on like a group of the uh, the guard and I'm going to transpose its damage type from Thunder uh, to Ice effectively. Okie dokie, so, yep. Yeah, so that so the crowd there needs to make a uh, each creature within a ten foot radius from a point um, needs to make a Constitution saving throw against a DC of fifteen. Oh, that's a crit. Ah, uh, well, they will take half as much damage then of that. So that's wow, I rolled pretty high in that. So that's going to be six ice, da- six cold damage on those that are affected by it. Um, as Boyce is trying to basically like. Uh, like I said, uh, try to 
cool them down a little bit, maybe even like freeze the water a little bit around them to make movement slower so that they can't just swarm into Reaper uh, quickly. And Boyce will also try to stay not too far from Reaper just to throw healing if necessary. <laughs> um, but that's all that I can do on my turn for the moment. Yeah, you throw a blast of ice, uh, and you actually, this is one collective enemy, so you hit a damage threshold, one of the eels freezes over, um, and that, that uh, merfolk retreats from the fight. So it's just like, I don't, want, I don't want none of that smoke, I don't want to have all my eels dead. So mm -hmm. uh, one, one down, but someone runs up behind you, boys, and is going to attack at the end of your turn, 14. That will hit. Uh, you take two damage as you get lashed across the back by a jellyfish stinger, and then it is uh, Merfolk turn. Can I get dexterity saves from both Reaper and Boyce? This is the the group closing in. Uh, I botched. I got 26. Wow. So you uh, effortlessly dodge and weave your way through these merfolk. Uh, an eel does bite you, boys, for three damage. Uh, so you got hit twice. <laughs> they're they're kind of gang gang up on the wizard. Cowards. What is this, like an, yeah, what is this, an anti-nerd group or something? Jeez. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they're all basically, they're the secret service of the Medusa uh, uh, <laughs> Empire. Uh, so they're just like, get down, <laughs> get them. Uh, Barbello, back to you. Cool. Uh, Barbella's going to continue swinging because that's that's really the main card she's got right now. Perfect. Allison says, was there a test to get into your church? I mean, you didn't fall for our trap or our whole uh, gambit with the the jellyfish bloom, and then you faked being held person? Uh, yeah. Like, wh what are you here's, here's the test. Lift up the biggest book of riddles. It's so big, you lift it up, you have, you have attained knowledge of riddles, and big muscles. If you are ready for that, you're ready for anything. Um, <laughs> 18 on the first, 17 on the second. Wow. Only the 18 hits, actually. Oh, well, in uh, that case, I'm going to make use of Savage Attacker to re-roll that second one. No way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 16 still doesn't hit. Oh. So close, yeah. but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm giving it a go. Um... The brittle stars do have a kind of, uh, you know, exoskeleton that is hard to pierce. So I'll say it's kind of the texture of her skin. Yeah. An interesting note, uh, apparently, I learned about brittle stars. You could eat them. There's nothing preventing you from it. It's just that it would be just like eating rocks. <laughs> so <laughs> technically uh, edible, but not good. Well, it uh, doesn't matter that I missed one of those attacks because the attack that hit did almost as much damage as both last time. Nine damage uh, as uh, Barbella is... You know, d d ducking and weaving, and and really putting putting all of her effort behind this. She is really gonna try and survive and show off the uh, the the virtues of the riddle snake religion. Because if nothing else, you know, maybe should this person fail, they come become a convert to this religion. You know, having seen its amazing, you know, wonderful talents in practice. Yeah, I was when I sat down. I was fully prepared for both outcomes of this fight. Whether you win or she win, I think it's a really balanced encounter. So I am on the edge of my seat, uh, and she is going to strike back at you with the urchin needles. That's going to be a seven and a seven. No, it's the wrong dice. Oh my god! <laughs> I was about to say she's going to die. Uh, twenty-one and sixteen. Uh, the twenty-one's going to hit. Oh my gosh, that would have been so embarrassing. <laughs> I was really hoping that was correct. I was so ready to survive. <laughs> uh, so that's just six there, is what I rolled. Okay. Six damage. Cool. She says, do you, call, do you call the library the gym, or do you call the gym the library? Well, how does that, or is it the same thing for you? Hey, you, you know, there, there are separate words for them for people who only train one and not the other. You know, it, you should really be combining them in your life. Uh, you know, why waste time getting muscles and learning when you can learn with muscles? That's what I was worried about, that you lift big books <laughs> right. that, while you're I reading live, I lift so many big books. One day, I'm going to learn throwing techniques, and I'm going to start throwing big books. And then, you, oh. mm, and then I'm going to have over. ranged <laughs> options, and it's over for you. <laughs> oh, no. All right, Reaper, it's your turn again. All right. Uh, I'm going to use my last key point, and I'm going to attempt to do the same thing again. I'm going to do a flurry of attacks here, and they're all going to do really well. Uh, 18, 12, uh, crit fail, and 14. 
Uh, 18 and 14 hit. The botch does not, uh, obviously. So uh-huh. I think I'm going to uh, attack you twice at the end of your turn. So 14 and 6. Is 14 hit? Uh, no. 14 is oh. this. Oh, okay. So the, the the botch you got out of. I, I gave my guy an extra attack, and they still missed. So roll your uh-huh. two hits. Losers. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, sorry, I just had to find... Uh, it's going to be 16 damage. Oh, wow. You actually take out two uh, of the merfolk with this flurry. You want to describe this? I, uh, lethal or non-lethal, I will ask. It's going to be non-lethal as uh, Reaper is going through and like dodging all these attacks. I imagine this is sort of like the gang up scene in like mm-hmm. a kung fu movie where there's like a bunch of people trying to surround Reaper and she's like dodgy attacks. And then she uh, manages to like... Uh, kind of like John Wick combo her way through people, and then she just grabs two of them by the head and clonks them together real, <laughs> real hard, and that's how she that's... like uh, disposes of them for a moment. And then she's gonna kind of give the the like "come at me, bro" uh, hand motion after that. She's, that's she's twice as hard to do underwater. Uh huh. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, boys, you see uh, Reaper conk two of them together. Their eels get tangled up, <laughs> and as they float away. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to resort to using, uh, I'm going to target two of the participants and use Acid Splash against them to try and do a little caustic damage to egg them away. Uh, uh, That's a dexterity saving throw versus 15. Oh, it's going to be a botch. It's going to be a big botch. Okay, so let me double check the damage rolled here. Yeah, so that is uh, eight acid damage then applied um and if they have any resistances to acid damage it ignores it because of boyce's feat of being an elemental adept for acid damage yeah normally uh botches wouldn't do anything on the saving throw i'm gonna say for flavor though that you blast one of them with acid and uh they just uh, reel back they see their uh you know jellyfish flagella are melting away and she just says fuck this and swims away yeah and then and the boys just sort of like Sells back afterwards, uh, checks over their notes, and looks at all the situation around them, uh, and uh, basically just kind of bracing for the next hit against them. Yeah, that's a good thought. Eight on, uh, to attack you, and that's going to miss, I assume? Yes, uh, Boise's armor is 13, so that does miss. Uh, let's get dexterity saves again from Boyce and Reaper. Uh, we got 17. Stingers everywhere. 22. Fuck me. Both those are good enough. So you are both dodging and weaving. Uh, as you're thinning out the the Medusas, I think maybe it's just getting easier to dodge from every, every angle. Uh, and Barbella, we're back to you. Okay, let's see if these if these swings with the uh, crab leg hit. Because if they do, I do want to I do want to drop a riddle. Uh, oh, no. but I, I, want to, I want to make sure I've hit before I do. Uh, 17 and 13. Do either of both, those hit? Both miss. Uh, the, uh, let me just double check. Can I, okay. Yeah, I can re-roll. I can re-roll one of those. Um, 19. Ah, oh, dang. That hits. Cool. Oh, I got beans. a, I got a hit. Um, so I, I think the reason why not two successful hits is Barbella is with one hand flipping through the riddle book and does stumble upon <laughs> one to, uh, to read out. Um, why must a dentist never fight a manicurist? Uh, because the teeth is uh, stronger than the nail. Because they'll end up fighting tooth and nail. Oh, damn. I was close. <laughs> you, you, you weren't far off. Uh, right. <laughs> Allison laughed out loud. She's like, I don't know, maybe I could get used to some riddles. They're pretty cool. Uh, six damage. <laughs> All right. You hit her again. And she says, wow, we, sh- we should hire you to- in the Queen's Guard. You're good. Yeah, well, you know, you know, step one of that. Stop trying to, you know, steal access to the riddle snake as a not, as a not riddle doer. <laughs> I would have waited in line if it was like a week, but at this point, it's like it's years. It's completely untenable. So you can't go on you, like this. No, no, you're not wrong, but everyone feels that way, and everyone, it, you, you, this is the answer to that problem. Can't be everyone jumps the queue. <laughs> Well, that's the only option I see. How about, let us bring back the queen. We'll annex your little village, and then we can all be friends. How about that? You want to join our kingdom? I, I do. You even have a church of the riddled fish in 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 your community? 
No, but we could use one. It seems good. It seems like it makes you very smart and very strong. I'm I, I'm into it. I'm. <laughs> this is not the done thing. Go go read go read a riddle book and lift a heavy thing, and we can talk. I, if I respected you, maybe we could talk. <laughs> All right, get urchin, hunk. Uh, tw- twenty and twenty-four. Whoa. Okay, fine. <laughs> What, what was that energy? <laughs> yeah. 15. You should, just, you should just declare, like, catchphrases like that before every attack, I guess, you know? Okay, sure. She she was like, I don't know, She was you were maybe fighting some common, common ground, you pushed back, and then she, uh, with that re- rejection, she just rams a spike into your stomach. Oh. Uh, also, before we move on, I have to share with you, it's really hard to find riddles about fighting that aren't just like weirdly sexist. I don't know why, oh, but the fi- fi- researching fighting riddles, I'm going to read you one that's like not bad, but it's going to give you a good feel for where fighting riddles are at. Why do sumo wrestlers shave their legs? Because they don't want to be mistaken as feminists. Oh, come on. That's the level of where <laughs> fighting riddles that's are not at. A, is that a riddle? A- yeah, no, it really seems like fight jokes and fight riddles is entirely like angry men wrote them and therefore there's just like a weird little sexism <laughs> bubble I stumbled into. That's the things you learn when you research riddles and jokes. Yeah, I mean, people have said this about a conservative comedy is that it's never funny because they get too mad telling the joke. They're like, what, what did six say to seven? Gender! <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> they just get upset. Uh, when it's your turn. Okay, uh, so I'm at a key point, so I'm only going to be able to do two attacks. Uh, but Reaper is is feeling it. She's doing like the the uh, Bruce do like bouncing on one leg, kind of, like from leg to leg kind of thing. Uh, and she's ready to she's ready to fucking go time. Uh, Twenty one and nineteen. Oh no, both those hit my my mob. Please, <laughs> my minions. Uh, that is going to be 17 damage. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah, you knock another one out. Any particular flavor there? Uh, I want to do, like, the, the duck under. Like, they, they go in. I don't, I don't know what they're fighting with. Like, if they're just trying to, like, raw knuckle this or, if, you know, they have, like, uh, wacky underwater weapons or something like that. But I want to duck. The eels are biting and the jellyfish are stinging. Okay. Hmm. How would Jackie Chan fight that? <laughs> And he does, and he doesn't have a ladder. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. He first you get you first grab the ladder, right? And yeah. you need to have a baby in the other arm. Does 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 Reaper have a baby in one of her arms? No, and there are okay. also no trash can lids anywhere Shit. around me. Uh, but I am going to duck underneath a blow and then uh, come up in like in front of the frame and do the uh, like the uh, back fist to the person behind me, like Whoa! move, and they just like. Their face just crunches in like a cartoon character and their stars <laughs> over their head as they, they, they fall down. All right. And she's like, yes, you are powerless beneath my shadow martial arts. I think another option would have been just opening by saying, I don't I, I like I don't I don't mean to do anything, you know, like like I'm not trying to cause any trouble and then just punch them oh, out. That that's where Reaper and Jackie Chan divide. Uh, is uh, Reaper always <laughs> wants to cause trouble? <laughs> that's it's just you just lie. You just that's say weird. You that's it. what she's actually here for right now. She's like, I want to cause trouble. <laughs> All right, at the end of your turn, Reaper eighteen eel bites your face. Eel bites your face. Yeah, that that's a hit. That's three damage. Oh, I'd be in real rough spot if uh, Barbella was not gracious enough to give me that uh, healing spell. So thankfully, I, yeah, it would have been a... would have been would have been great if I'd had some of that left for me. But it's fine. <laughs> All right, <laughs> no worry. We're handling things here, and then we can help or something. All right. Um, I I will opt to have uh Boyce attempt to use uh Ray of Frost against one uh, against the crowd here. Um. Uh, let's see here. So just like flipping through their book, holding it up almost like, and they have their little writing utensil. They sort of point at the crowd and a 24 to hit. Big hit. So that will be uh, nine cold damage. All right. Another one's taking out. You freeze their, uh, probably their, uh, you know, fins together, their legs or what they kick off 
uh, to get it around, and then they just kind of sink to the bottom where they are going to hang out. <laughs> They're like, I can't get up. I'm sorry. And then Boyce sort of like takes some more notes after all that. They're just writing notes in their their in their in their green paper books and stuff like that about what's going on in the fight here and diagramming the the failure of the foes. Uh, that, that, that sounds too cool for boys. Anyways. 13, does that hit? That's that's exactly, yeah. All right, you're going to take some damage. Three. Uh, oh, jellyfish uh, manages to uh, wrap its stingers around your arm and then dexterity saving throw both of you again. Uh, there's four remaining 20. merfolk. 14. Oh, both save. My gush, goodness, gushness, goofus. Your gush, your gushness? Is that what you yeah. just said? I thought the wizard was going <laughs> to be in more danger. These have been really good rolls. Uh, I guess we're back to Barbella. Okay, okay. I need to try and finish this. I can't keep war of attritioning it. Um, we're going we're gonna to take those two swings, and please, please, God. Uh, tsh- 17 and 17. Oh, Fucking hell, what's oh, with these double no. rolls? Okay, re-rolling one of them. Uh, botch. You no. get to choose which one you keep, right? <laughs> um, let me check, let me check the wording. Probably not. Oh um, my god. D- 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 uh, you can re-roll melee, um, uh, a weapon attack once per turn. So I guess I gotta oh. keep the botch now. Oh no, Barbella! Well, so you uh, you just had that urchin spine rammed in your stomach, and you try to uh, turn the spear, Fuck. Uh, you know, to hit Allison back, and she like headbutts it. The brittle star uh, legs wrap around your spear and bonk you in the face with it. So I'm actually gonna get three attacks here instead of okay, the okay. Come on, two. please miss all three, please, please. Botch, a botch, botch. In return. Oh. 22 and 25. Okay, Austin, can we deal with yeah. your return botch before you deal with the other two hits so that I get a chance to deal damage before you kill me? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Cool. Uh, so do I get to attack <laughs> you now because of that? Sure, yeah, that makes uh, sense. Do I just roll damage or do I roll to see whether I hit in response? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I think this is a unique, I botched, you botched, it's like a, we're botching back and forth. Uh, why don't you just roll damage, I think? Because then I'm gonna roll damage on you. Okay, so um, one sec. So initially I'm rolling four damage, but I'm using the last little resource I have because fuck it, I'm gonna die if I don't. Um, to turn this into a divine smite, to add two d eight to it. <laughs> so that's another nine, thirteen total. Whoa! Does that take you down? Almost, it's so God, close. God, ha- look, I'm not going to survive this turn, Austin. How close was I? Uh, uh, eleven is how much hit points she has uh, left. Okay, might I ask something real quick? What level spell slot did you use for that? Uh, first level. Okay, so it's just a two d eight. Yeah, okay. no, it's, I, it's I have, there. I have very little left. I'm making do with what I got. Um, okay, cool. Austin, roll the lowest possible damage on those two attacks, please. <laughs> Oh no, how much HP do you have? I got 14. <laughs> Seven. Okay, maybe this is doable. <laughs> this is so close. So it's you have seven left and I have 11. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, here's how I'm picturing this. You have your spear. Her brittle arm hair wraps around it trying to keep you from uh, stabbing her to death. You have an urchin spine in your stomach. Maybe you like uh, slam body to body and impale her back on it and then shoot the divine spite, smite through the spear. Does that make sense? Like through through the spine. And we are just like face to face. There is very little room between us. We are just staring <laughs> each other down now, I think. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> this is so good. All right. This almost certainly ends when we come back around. Oh my god. Uh, I love Compel Duel. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, it's Reaper's turn. All right. I'm going to make my two attacks, a 17 and a 12. 17 hits. Uh, it's going to be seven more damage. All right, you just punch another one in the face, and then I am going to roll against you. Uh, that's four. That's nothing. I, at this point, they're demoralized. I think they look like they're about to just, the remaining ones are about to flee. <laughs> Could I roll an intimidation to see if they will stand down? Like um, I've, yeah. I've, I've been, like, systematically knocking them out and everything. Uh, I want to try to demoralize them even further with a 22. <laughs> All right, yeah, how, do, how does this look? What do you do? Uh, so I've just been, like, popping up, knocking these people out, 
And I'm looking over as like all the rest of these people are kind of like in this weird state of like watching their numbers dwindle. Like this was uh, at one point 11 on two or 10 on two. And it's just slowly like equalizing. And Reaper's just going to kind of spit, which is, I guess, a weird thing to do in the water because it just floats there. Uh, But uh, she's going to say, you know, you lot are pathetic. I've killed so many and seen so many deaths, and yours won't even register. I mean, honestly, I don't even think I'll need to bury you. Might as well just let the fish have you. Unless you just want to leave, run away like cowards, and never know true strength. The closest Medusa to you just says, like, I think I'm going to go join the church. It seems like it has a lot of good benefits. Do you get dental? I'll, I'll go ask. I'll go there. I'm going to go ch- ask. I'm going to go check. Hmm. I thought they'd be more impressed with my shadow martial arts, but... Hmm. Whatever. They respect me. <laughs> One of the merfolk says, well, where can we get some of that? What's your institution? I... I'm strong, and you should do what I say. You don't have a sensei? No. Because I'm going to kill him. <laughs> oh, like fuck. I do to... It. Like I do to everyone who crosses me. Oh my god. Yeah, they just scatter. <laughs> they don't want none of this. You're terrifying. Cool. Uh, She's going to smile happily to herself and kind of float along the water. She's like, mm, good. I did a great job today. <laughs> you did. Uh, so as we cut back to Barbella, who has seven hit points, and Allison, who has 11 <sighs> hit points... And where this fight might come down to who won initiative, I will say right behind you, uh, the golden light has stopped coming out of the hydrothermal vent and has now formed like a pool. You can see now why people call it the well of resurrection, because it looks like there is just a, a hole in the sea floor made of whatever this magic is. And you could just throw something into it. Okay. Barbella is going to summon up the last of her strength and go... My job is to protect the riddle snake and all to do with it. I am going to give this all I've got. Uh, nine and twelve. Reroll. <laughs> oh. Do I have 18 no hits? Oh. Come on, I need you to botch or I need you to miss some oh. hits. Oh. Fucking hell, yeah, you, no. You twist and you turn. You're both like connected by your stomach wounds. And she says, and my job is to protect my queen. So let's see whose conviction is stronger. And she is going to strike at you. 10 and 12. No, I missed both. Oh, yes. oh my God. The two of us are just like stumbling toward each other and like swinging and missing. We Neither of us has the stamina to like make a full swing. I feel like this is the moment in the anime where like, you know, you know, one one punch will go and you just sort of stumble rather than making the full impact. We just, yeah. we, ju- we just don't, we're running in on, on empty. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. I mean, I think Reaper and boys can see the climax of the fight and like start coming over, but like they're not going to make it in time. Uh, Barbella, it's your turn again. Are you going to swing? Oh, of course I'm going to swing. 20 oh. and 27 oh, crit. Chris. Oh! Okay. Oh! Um, right. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Um, oh my god. Fuck. The first the first hits for 10, the second hits for uh 11 doubled is 22. So that's what th- uh fucking th- 32 damage. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so how do you break the stalemate? What is the move that wins the fight? Oh man, that was okay. so close. You couldn't okay. have scripted it that good. Um I I think the move that that wins it is it something that was said earlier in the fight? I think Barbella throws her book of riddles, her spell focus, up in the air. Um, with having had so much conversation of this is a big, heavy, heavy book, maybe it's heavier than it looks, just to get that little second of distraction to go for a really big stab through the torso. Uh, oh. Stab into the torso, book bonks on the head. Was not as heavy as it had been played up to be. <laughs> All right, you stab her through the torso. Um, she has the remains that you need. Uh, oh, I, I here's I had an idea. Let me ask you this: You stab her through the torso. Lethal or non-lethal? Non-lethal. 
Uh, so you win, and she, uh, with a spear sticking out of her torso, she hurls uh, the isopod scale away in the ro- wrong direction, basically. Like, go get it. And she slides back off your spear and crumples onto the ground. Okay. I grab I, I, I grab off of her, her rema- the remains she was bringing. Clever. Good. Good idea. Yep. And then do you go get the isopod scale? This is uh, the c- civil engineer uh, Elfago that you were so tasked with. If I am back. confident that she does not have the remains to herself put into the well, yes. All right. You swim over. You scoop up the isopod scale. And you turn back to see that Allison, the Medusa, throws herself into the well of resurrection still alive. Oh, mm. Mm. I, I <laughs> That's a problem. Don't know what that does. She, <laughs> no one does, and I didn't know if it was gonna come up. <laughs> no, yeah, but I might have unleashed something far worse. I feel like this is far more concerning. <laughs> All right, so this is the first time uh, on screen, at least. I, I'll say this, Barbella. Have you ever seen someone brought back with the well before? Oh, I think Barbella has. I think that, I think Barbella has at the, at, maybe not up close, but I think Barbella has has uh, you know attempted this sort of thing before to go and just try and get a closer look at the the ribbon snake, and maybe didn't get this far, but has seen from a distance something she will now recognize as this is what that was. So in my mind, she goes d- into the well. She likes her body sinks out of. Uh, view, and then the light goes dark. The ma- whatever magic it is is used and disappears, and all that's left is just a hole in the sea floor where the well used to be. I think, uh, like the chimney that used to be the hydrothermal vent is gone, as if it never existed. Uh, we talked before about the the well being like the star in Mario Party. Like once you get it, uh, it's gone. Yeah. So there's just a great big hole, and you don't see Allison. And in the distance, the Riddle snake uh, t- swims away. I mean, it's so it's so large that it doesn't even feel like it swims so much as it just like recedes into the darkness. <sighs> um. Uh, very, very quickly, can I do some kind of check? I feel like it would be religion to get a sense of it has something fundamentally wrong within my religion just happened. Oh, I would love to know that, yeah. Like, I, I need I need to have some degree of insight on, like, have have we just... F- has, has my religion just broken? <laughs> um, has my religion broken? That's a great question. Six. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> no, you, uh, you don't know. I think, uh, you know, no one in the church has ever even brought up the possibility. You're like, our whole duty is to bring back the dead, so someone going in live it's just like why would you go in for heart surgery if your heart was perfectly fine it's just a strange thing to do yeah so given that um yeah barbella is gonna is gonna run to the the uh the the crater um and to see whether whether there is a body there or not uh I want to have uh reaper kind of walk up and like look into the well uh, not very casually, though, because ultimately she's not. Th- she's going to like kind of grunt and be like, Ugh, "This means it's gonna take longer to bring my master back." Ugh. There is no precedent for this. There's nothing in the book. There is nothing in the book about this. There's nothing in the book about this. There's nothing in the book about this. <laughs> Uh... Is someone supposed to be in the hole? What happens when you bring someone back? Do they float out or? As you sit around uh, talking about it, you see uh, a large object begin moving towards you as if it's been rising out of the depths for a while. And uh, as it gets closer, you see it is a bubble. It is a huge person sized bubble with a figure inside who is kind of curled in a fetal position. Barbella attempts to pop the bubble. Oh my. 
Uh, so as the bubble comes up to like, where you're all standing at the lip of the well, you see it is Allison. She is kind of, uh, her eyes are closed, not moving. Something's different about her, and you just reach out and try yes. to pop the bubble? Yes. Uh, roll a, an attack. Uh, 12. Uh, that is not going to do it. In fact, you try to poke it with the spear, and the uh, equal and opposite reaction of your blow knocks you back. Uh, so you're actually going to take uh, six damage. I'm still alive. I attempt to pop the bubble again. Oh my god! On one, H- on one HP. <laughs> do, do, are do you get <laughs> healed first? Oh my god! Are you sure? Okay. Twenty-two. Uh, yeah, uh, Barbella, you ram your spear into the bubble and burst it. it There's clearly some kind of magical enchantment. It was supposed to keep that from happening. Uh, if you would have missed again, I would have knocked you out, I guess. Yeah, no, uh, no, I, I respect that. <laughs> with a 22, um, as if being, uh, as if she was sleeping and just had a, bu- a bucket of ice water dumped on her, Allison, uh, jumps up and just starts, like, looking around, uh, like, clearly frightened and confused. Being like, whoa, where am I? Who are you? What's going on? Oh, God, you have a spear. Um, and Barbella freezes at this because her plan had been to go, to, you know, start berating her, what the fuck were you doing? I let you live. How dare you do this? This seems genuine. Um, And Barbella will sort of loosen the grip for a second and go, You don't know who I am. Uh, oh, it's, it's, hey, it's like a deja vu. It's hazy. Uh, You're, you're the really hot, uh, priest? Hot priest. I'm the person you just had a near battle to the death with. And you might have just fucked up my entire religion by throwing yourself into the well of resurrection. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You stabbed me in the fucking, g- fucking heart. You d- d- uh, no, tasty I bitch. stabbed you in. No, I stabbed you in the torso non-lethally to stop you. D- d- you know, fucking up my religion. But apparently, that's not enough. You threw yourself into a religious fountain, and I don't know what that means for my religious beliefs anymore. What are you now? I wouldn't, first of all, say it's not clear to a person who's been stabbed through the chest if they're dying or not. Second of all, uh, I feel great. Uh, perception checks? Yeah, I'm sure you? you do. I'm sure you do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh. Boys rolls a seven. Nineteen. Uh, ten. Uh, 19 and 10, I'll give you something average here, specifically Reaper with your honed martial artist instincts. When Allison, you know, is bobbing in the water, having this conversation, she's moving a little bit. You know, she's not like running, but she she moves as all underwater creatures do. And there's almost like an after image of following her. It's very slight. Like you wouldn't notice if, if you were, you know, not paying particular attention, but with your eagle eyes, it's like she, you know, like the smear tool in Photoshop or something. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, there, there's something with her like physical presence that is um, almost like doubling behind her as she bobs in the water. Have you mastered the afterimage technique? That's one of the strongest moves there is. What? What's that? It sounds useful. When you move so, when you move so fast, you leave like an image of yourself behind. Sometimes it turns into a log when it's attacked. It's very <laughs> powerful. Oh my gosh! Can you teach me that? I need that to protect my queen. I. You've are you're doing it right now. Also, I just aren't you the queen? You just threw yourself into a well and came back with a new magic crown. Oh, oh! She reaches up and touches her head. Uh, you know, which is now this writhing mass of orange, uh, uh, terrifying uh, gorgocephaly, as we talked about. Uh, she actually looks like uh, she's rocking it. It's like terrifying to me, Austin, but in the underwater community, uh, it's considered very cool. Um, she's surprised that her body has changed. You know, she's like, she's like, I feel stronger. You look at her biceps, noticeably bigger. Um, what the fuck? And she's like, swims around a little bit. I'm faster too. What is happening? Uh, Bob Elder's going to ask the only important question. Do you know any riddles? (laughs) Oh my God. That's such a good question, Laura. Uh, Yeah. Suddenly Barbella is wonder, wondering, could... Do you unlock riddle powers by jumping in the riddle snake's fountain? 
Um, I don't know. Ask me a riddle. I've always sucked at riddles. As as I think you know, hot priest. <laughs> I'm tall when I'm young, and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? I'm tall when I'm young, and I'm short when I'm old. Hmm. Hold on, I got this. Oh, I know. It's what? It's an earth. It's a. It's a surface thing. The a candle. You weren't this good at riddles a minute ago. What the fuck? What the fuck? Um, <laughs> with Whoa. that, something's going on. I'm so scared, hot priest. Take me to church. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay, you're coming. You're coming with us now. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I need to understand what's happened to you. You're coming with us. You might have fucked up my religion. You might have unlocked a new facet of my religion. You, uh, you owe this to me. You're coming with us. Yeah, I mean, I'll worship like a dog at the shrine of your lies. So let's go. <laughs> yeah, no, I knew you were going that way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry about who I am uh, as a person. No, 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 don't apologize. I was there too. I was, I was resisting it. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you all are going to swim back to Zulfo into the Church of the Riddlefish. The, the trip is uneventful, and the other Medusas have fled. So uh, is there anything you want to talk about or do on the way? Uh, we can roll hit dice if you want to heal. But um, the, the quest to re revive uh, Elfago, the isopod Thrycreen, <laughs> continues. Um, I, uh, Boyce will go to Barbella and... Uh, and uh, uh, not to lay on hands per se, but apply at least a cure wounds on her for uh, eight hit points. Um, thank you, thank you. And then, and, and and just say like, uh, I don't know what's going on right now, but I just wanted to say, you know, you did your best out there, Marvel. You were you were looking mighty cool doing all that, but sorry that uh, we weren't able to quite do enough for the time being. I apologize for not uh, seeing 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 that coming. Um, I was pretty laser focused in on a few a few possibilities, and I had lost a lot of blood. I was not in the best state of thinking. Um, ah, uh, this is not going to look good on my report of like my first time going to the wells. I really hope this does not reflect poorly on me. I hope I can spin this. I really want to spin this as, hey, so unfortunate thing that went down, but I did pass all the riddle trials on the first try and successfully win uh, a fight to protect the well, and I came back with maybe some important information about the well, and maybe that, you know, maybe maybe information about about the well will, you know, lead to like another book in the in the in the history books for the church, and maybe that means it's a good thing and not a bad thing that I fucked up. Allison says, "I don't know if I'm invited to this conversation, but I will tell the presumably much uglier priest we're going to talk to that it wasn't your fault because." You did not murder me, so I do owe you because you could have murdered me vis-a-vis -vis giant crab leg. Yeah, I maybe should have. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have. But trying to trying to be a good trying to be a good person as as you know as the church teaches us to do. It's fucking religion and it's such an inconvenience sometimes. Reaper's gonna pop in and be like. I've been trying to tell you all along you should be killing more people. Well, no, I'm trying to I'm trying to take the good path here. We know something new about the about the about the poor about the, 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 the well, and maybe that is religiously significant and maybe it's good that I didn't kill, and therefore the I I did the right thing by following my beliefs. Or you could have killed her and gotten everything you wanted. <laughs> Allison leans over to Boyce and says, "She definitely should have killed me." <laughs> uh, who has who has the uh, who has the uh, uh piece still? Who, who has among us? Um, Barbella uh, picked it, if, everything up. Yeah, if no one has any objections, Barbella has both of them and is gripping onto them with a death grip of no one, no one, no one. No one is reviving this queen or taking away this piece that I need to revive anytime soon. I'm not going to fail again. Boys was, was like, well, 
I guess I'm going to have to uh, keep on operating without a partner and crime of my own for a bit when, uh, when it comes to building the community, but eh, it's what it is. Reaper wants to turn to Allison and say, you know you fucked me, right? Oh my god, but did we? Way, when? I don't remember that. Was I no, good? No, like, no. <laughs> none of your group were good. I want to make that very clear. No, you've made me wait even longer for what I want. But, perhaps you've taught me something. Maybe it is foolish to play by the rules and wait for this to happen. You got everything you wanted just by throwing yourself in there. I don't think I got everything I wanted. I did want to bring back my queen. Our kingdom is like completely in disarray. It's a huge problem. It's it's. I haven't really processed what a huge disappointment my failure is. And like a bunch of my friends got their teeth kicked in. So they're probably very mad at me. I think my life is ruined. Like I'm really strong and I'm, I feel really powerful and I look really hot right now. But also I think everything I've ever worked for is completely destroyed. Of course it is. Your people are pathetic. But now you're stronger. That means you're one step closer to reversing this awful trajectory that your kingdom was on. Oh, like if I jump in the well a couple more times, I'll get stronger and stronger and stronger, and then I can... I'll rip your throat out before that happens. Oh, I don't care I... what you do, <laughs> but I want my master back first. Okay. Look, look may- maybe it'll be... Okay, I've got a theory. Maybe we make her eat the piece of dead person and portable well. Maybe that's what's happened. Oh, no, I don't know. We're eating dead people. We're not at the eating the dead stage yet. I, I'm trying to theory craft. I'm looking for any anything that makes, a, you know, something good out of a bad situation. Uh, so the party is approaching the Church of the Riddlefish. Uh, the bishop... Bitter Creek is there, the leafy sea dragon, as we've talked about before. Uh, he sees you all coming. He has, like, these big flowing purple robes in the water. And he's like, ah, yes, the triumphant heroes and the isopod Elfago. You look much different than I was picturing in my head. Less uh, hard. Hey, hey, sorry. Gotta, gotta interrupt you here. Um, good news first. Um... Past all the riddles. I'm pretty good at riddles. Congratulations. Um, yeah. You bring honor to all of us. Uh, yeah. Also, um, someone was trying to, you know, uh, piggyback off of our riddle solving to throw, you know, some queen, rem- the remains of some queen that, you know, in the, in the well. And, you know, I successfully did a triumphant, you know, uh, I challenged them to a, to a duel and fought them off and stopped them throwing the, the, the parts in the well and managed to get the parts away from them so they couldn't, they, they, there was no way they could throw the queen parts in the well. So I was doing good. And then she threw herself in the well. I liked the first part of the story. Yeah, the less, no, the second part so of the story did I. Less. Yeah, mm. no, same. No, trust me. I pr- I promise you, I did not want to come home and bring this news to you. I am hoping there is some religious significance to what has happened because she came out of the well and she's glowing now and she's slightly better at riddles. And I'm hoping there's religious significance we can learn from this and therefore my decision not to kill her was the right one. I'm hoping. Oh, this is quite a riddle. Uh, I need to consult the text, of course. Uh, I, you do appear to be covered in blood. Barbella, and I don't want to yeah. seem callous. Are you okay? You, you've you been stabbed a number of times. Um, I, I was about as close to death as a person can be. And did not do a murder. But got, got, got about as close as you can and thought that would be enough. Okay, well, now that I know you're safe, I'm very mad at you because... The security, for the operational security for the trips to the wells is paramount. It's our entire raison d'etre, which is French for th- the thing we're doing. Uh, so yeah. you've, uh, I'm pretty mad at you. Um, I've consulted the text as we're speaking. Why don't snakes argue with their partners? They don't want it to turn into some kind of hissing match. They, it, it, yes, essentially, it was hysterical. They don't want them getting hysterical. You got it. Hiss. It's the. I, 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 I should have gotten that. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I, I was, I, I. 
I do feel <sighs> mentally very compatible with snakes. We're both very powerful and cool. <laughs> I, look, I, I, I recognize I am at fault here. I was trying to follow the doctrine. I did not wish to, you know, uh, needlessly kill. I just... No one had trained me for someone alive might jump in, in the hole as a possibility. That just had not come up. And that is on me. That is on me. I kept the piece out of the hole. I did what I was trying to do. Well... All right, so hole patrol. Let's huddle up, pull up a seat. Is is this? Is are you a prisoner, ma'am? And Allison uh, looks at you all as if to say, "Am I?" Um, I'm. I mean, uh, no, because I don't want to treat you well. There are laws that you have to treat prisoners well, right? <laughs> this this is this is someone who is alive because I did not kill them, and who we need to understand what happened to. And um, I don't want to regret that. I don't want to be made to regret that choice of not killing them. I mean, I already regret it, but I don't want to be made to regret it more. So, um, y yeah, we right now we have them here to work out what we can and make the best out of bad situation. Fine, but both of you are doing the cooking for her. <laughs> I'm not making. I'm not making gruel. I don't even know how to do that. Maybe it's secretly a great situation. Maybe let's let's hope it is. Maybe it's great. Maybe maybe this is actually a good thing that this happened. Please, 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 Riddle Snake. Allison says, uh, "You don't have to restrain me or anything. I owe Cardinal Sexy here in my life, so I'll I'll participate." What's going on? Uh, and you all like huddle up in front of the church, and uh, Bishop uh, Bitter Creek says, "I am going to let you in on a little bit of church lore, a little bit of history not known." among the general worshippers, just our uh, kind of the upper elites. This is the second time a live person has entered the Well of Resurrection. Okay. And was the first time a rousing success for the church? Uh, that person was a also a, a, a religious person, and uh, they went on as far as I know, to live a long and healthy life, so I don't. I'm not worried about you suddenly uh, exploding or anything, ma'am. Um, but there were some effects. Uh, are, do any of you have medical knowledge? I'm not that kind of. I'm a doctorate of philosophy. You understand. All right. Let's see. Boyce does have. <laughs> Boyce has seven wisdom, but proficiency in medicine. So technically a plus one. I uh, got, a, got a zero. Let's see. I have a plus three. So I guess I'm the doctor. 17. <clears throat> Ten 17 works perfectly, Reaper, because you were the person who noticed Allison's after image before. And so you're the person when given, uh, you know, uh, reason to examine her. Yeah, you know the bishop says like let's let's get a let's get a doctor's eye. Reaper, you look her over. You know you know sports medicine, I assume. So you know like mm -hmm. muscles and tendons. I know all, I know I know every <laughs> single uh, weak point in the human body. So uh, that's what I, that's right. what I'm applying have, it specifically. Yeah. Uh, so you you give Allison kind of a uh, a look over, and something under her skin moves. Oh, uh, I need a knife. It looks like you've got a bug in you. Oh gosh! Oh, that's such a huge problem underwater. You know, there's a a hundred million living things in every like square inch of water, and like a ton of them are par parasites. It's actually really frightening. I don't know how anyone goes in the ocean. Me either. And I'm gonna stab her with a, <laughs> <laughs> a shuriken where the the skin movement was. Absolutely hilarious. Uh, Reaper, you cut open Allison's arm, and a fucking worm comes out. Uh, can we, uh, get the worm? Uh, basically, uh, I don't know if it's safe to grab this, but is there, like, a, a little, like, uh, tweezer or something I can use to, like, kind of grab it so it doesn't, like, swim away? Great question. Can I get a dexterity save to try to do that? I will say this is not a pink earthworm. Uh, this is a deep sea giant tube worm. I put a picture of one in the chat. Sure. I rolled a 15 for Reaper. Uh, 15's great. Yeah, you grab it. It is, uh, red on the end of it. Uh, there are no eyes, no, like, obvious, like, you know, it's just like a long protuberance. I don't know if any of you want to talk about what this thing looks like, but, uh. It, it, it looks like it should be, 
a snack I'd see in a market for a country I've never been to before. <laughs> like it's one like like right, oh yeah. I I'm this this is food to someone else that I've just never comprehended before. Uh, it's almost like a little mm-hmm. beef pedal uh, with like a stick oh. kind of <laughs> connected to it. Yeah, what if a straw had beef pedals? Uh, beef pedals is such a great term. I was like. <laughs> Yeah, that's this this thing that comes out of Allison's arm. You grab it with your lightning quick reflexes, so it can't s- just sl- suck right back in, which is what it tries to do. Um, it's like squirms against you, and you you have a hold of it. So everyone everyone can look at this thing. Um, I guess roll nature to know about Riftia pacatipula, the giant two worm. Uh, boys, roll can I uh, opt? one T. Uh, I I got a, well, you a rolled minus a zero. One. Oh, you sorry. You rolled a D zero. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> D zero. Uh, well, you rolled maximum 15. on that, actually. Uh, I'm gonna opt not to roll because I can't do any. I cannot improve things for you. I believe. Yeah. So, Boyce, I think you just know about these because a lot of your work has to do with hydrothermal vents, and these kind of worms are uh, extremophiles. They're called. They're like things that live in extreme environments, uh, specifically in hydrothermal vents. They can tolerate uh, extremely high temperatures that would kill pretty much anything else. Uh, they can be three meters long, which is like ten feet long at their longest. Um, they are like a really unique type of life you don't see much other places and i will say the body it just bears a striking resemblance to the giant statue behind her of the riddle snake yeah yeah this was gonna be my question is uh, these tiny little worm slash snake like things um question number one do the people that get brought back from body parts have these in them or is this just for the the living ones Maybe this will be out of character. We can cut it if we want. I was going to say no, but is it more interesting if the answer is yes? I'm specifically thinking of in Buddhism, uh, centipedes are a symbol mm. of uh, like greed and avarice and stuff. If you ever played Sekiro, all the mm. undead are filled with centipedes mm. for this reason. And um, it's I'm specifically thinking about so this type of imagery. I, look, I think it's interesting if the people brought back from the parts are just full of these things. My question would be... Why is it significant that this person, this living person, has them in them? And what makes it different that they know they're full of them and the other revived people maybe don't? I would say it's, uh, it would be curious if this hadn't been known before, if every person who was brought back was full of worms. Yeah. As interesting as it would be, I'm curious how we wouldn't know. Yeah, my my intuition here is that whatever the riddle snake does to revive people, that energy is dispersed and they're just themselves when they come back. But if you if you go in alive, you're there's nothing to repair and the energy is just worms or you know the yeah. it's just the snakes and they're just in there. But they've also tried, and I think that the bishop probably spells this out. He says, "So when you try to put a, the soul back in a body that already has a soul, uh it, you you kind of become possessed by your own ghost and he shakes Allison <laughs> like a fucking stuffed animal for some reason and you see the after image following her around um like sh- her ghost is uh and she is both alive and a ghost i'm i, I don't know how else to say it okay okay so like she's a ghost puppeting her own living body which is full of worms which it it, if we put a body part in, would have like you know broken down, and the bits of worm would have ended up being the the body of the brought back person. But there's no body to repair, so there's just worms live a ghost riddle, a worm riddle bo- body full of ghost, uh, uh, puppeted by a ghost. Not as not as bad as I thought. I was really worrying that I had like you know destroyed the uh, the religion entirely. Okay, okay. <laughs> I really thought that this was like, no, now the riddle snake powers are in her and she's the deity and there's no riddle snake anymore was my concern. I'm very glad we got that off the table. <laughs> the bishop puts a hand on your shoulder and says, Sister Barbella, our our great wiggly lord is more powerful than any dork falling into a hole. I, Have I know, but also 
I was very concerned that I was a was a screw up, and uh, you know, our 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 lord, our lord the serpent is mighty. But what if my fuck up was mightier? <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all feel that way sometimes? Um, y- yeah. The bishop says, I don't know what we're going to do about this necessarily. Uh, It seems like you're very powerful now. Um, Like all the healing energy that would have closed your wounds just made you like jacked and ripped and smart. I heard you're good at riddles now. And Allison nods. Uh, So I don't know that we want you out there hunting our paladins as they try to go about their business. Uh, Does this does this town have a prison what are we doing allison looks to you uh, she like literally does like puppy dog eyes sad face at you barbella no poison please i took a chance on not killing you and you made me regret that but i want to i want to believe why should we believe her because she's getting good at riddles So, who's to say that the rest of her friends won't just try to interrupt and try to bring her queen the next time we want to revive someone? This process could go on forever. Look, we- we- we fought pretty seriously back there, and you saw... the potential that dedicating yourself to, you know, sincerely following the path of the riddle fish, the riddle snake, the riddle serpent, the riddle church can do when you follow it for, you know, the right reasons and not to further your own goals. Would you study here at the church and commit yourself to that with a life that is still going? I mean, I am earnestly interested it's weird that when i think thoughts now they're like smart style i'd never really uh, was much like that before so that's cool it's a little weird to have a worm and oh i can feel it wiggling <laughs> it's telling me secrets that's really that's it's gonna take some getting used to uh but I, here's my concern is that my friends aren't gonna stop like our queen when who, when she died her spines her urchin spines went everywhere and there's like a lot of them and they're gonna keep coming so well, well, here's the thing. I defeated you in a fight, and you were the strongest one. And if they try again, next time, I won't, I, I won't have mercy. Uh, looks over to the, the uh, riddle bishop to be like, is that okay? Is that the right call next time? Next time I do a murder? Uh, the bishop, uh, like, you know, looks thoughtful and says, you know, the answer is... <laughs> In the book, I, I can't tell you what the right answer is. We have to find it for ourselves, Barbella. I failed the church once and I won't fail it again. Allison says, how about I go with you this time when you try to bring your the bug guy back? And if my friends show up, I can help you fight them, which will show you I'm serious. Uh, and it solves everything because... There's the Queen's Guard is like a certain amount of people, so when you beat them up, I guess they will stop coming because then they'll be dead. I don't want to kill all my friends. Some of mm. them are cool, so I'll let those ones go. I don't know. I'm and, just throwing things out there. And you're definitely not going to try and throw yourself back in in the hole, <laughs> like a second I, time. <laughs> I, I hadn't thought of that <laughs> until you mentioned it. I don't know how if I if I get any stronger or any smarter, I'm worried. Also, what if worms are just like bursting out of like my nose and butt and stuff? I don't. I get, there's a limited you don't want worm. butt worms. You don't want butt worms. Um. Okay, I need to I need to ponder on this for a moment and. Uh, Barbella sits with this thought of of do we we bring you along to potentially have to fight against your own uh, group? And she flips open the the book of riddles. Uh, what animal is most likely to eat a relative? I I hate that I know the answer. <laughs> can, you, can you hear the riddle again? I'm sorry. I, 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 can, I, can... I 100% know the answer to this, but I don't think it's in character for Reaper to uh, say it. Yeah, what, what animal is the most likely to eat a relative? Oh, I just figured it out. Yeah? Uh, yeah, what I'll is have, it? I'll have Allison do it just to show she's smarter. Uh, she says, well, 
uh, they they eat what a cousin, an uncle, an aunt, an aunt, an ant eater. Yep, yep. I I I I uh, and Balbella takes this in for a second and goes, "Yeah, we can trust her." She jumps up on the pulpit. This fucking church rocks. I'm so strong now. <sighs> Right now, don't let this shortcut be an excuse to not do the work. You, you're gonna have to put, even though you've like you know shortcutted some strength and some knowledge, you are gonna have to put the work in with the books, both lifting them and reading them. All right, she just starts trying to pick up uh, the books she sees in the room and starts the bicep curling. And the bishop's like, uh, "This one, the cheese is a little little off of her cracker, but she's got the spirit. It's." Go go in peace. <laughs> sign, sign of the riddle cross. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this worked out okay. Hooray. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you're going to head back out. Only uh, clerics and paladins of the riddle snake can sense its presence and you need to find it again. Yeah. So... Uh... Uh, what was what was the role we did before to to intuit riddleness? Religion. I'm so glad we're getting to use religion yeah. this season. We rarely do because we rarely have characters who, who care about that. Yeah, I need look. I deliberately played a low intelligence character, but I'm gonna need to put some points into it eventually so I can get an actual decent modifier. You know, as as I put my studies in. Uh, ten. With an average, uh, you know the general direction. It's just going to need to be narrowed down, but it's the uh, it's a completely different direction than yeah. you went before. It's like south instead Indeed. of uh, east. Um, yeah. Can uh, can Barbella turn turn to our new friend and go? Do you want to do you want to get in on this? Oh, oh, whoa! Do you think I'm ready? I feel like I haven't done all the. I mean, stuff. I mean, look, maybe may, maybe not. It's it, I, I'm not. Just, it might be worth to having that feel, putting that sense out and just seeing if you've got that, whether that sense is there. Okay, I'm gonna, what do I do? I just picture the, the big... Picture, picture the most unlikely answer and sit with it. Whoa. It's a panda fucking a hairbrush. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Audience, I want you to know... <laughs> <laughs> I really thought it'd be funny if she rolled well. Uh, that's that is a botch. <laughs> that is a botch. Um, yeah. Does her head abruptly explode from the <laughs> thinking about the hardest <laughs> worm starts shooting out of her eyes? <laughs> no, she just says, "I know which way to go." Drops to her knees, starts digging a hole. <laughs> so we got to go down. Yeah, but, but, yeah. I will make the um, hole. I. <laughs> Marbella sort of puts a hand on the shoulder and goes, "Okay." Good to know that the 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 going in the well has not like auto leveled you the entire way through my religious journey. Um, we'll 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 keep practicing this one. Uh, the, the, somewhere over this way. <laughs> All right, I'll follow you. And she says, the worm poking out of one of her nostrils and looking around and then going back in. Uh, <laughs> so Reaper is before we leave going to go up to Bishop Bitter Creek and say. Bitter Creek. Reaper. I need your attention. You have my undivided attention, friend. I don't think we're friends, pal. You have my undivided attention, citizen. Whatever. Look, I want to make it clear that this whole endeavor with your church is stupid. I think everything you're doing here is pathetic. And at this point, I want the body back. Hmm, interesting. Uh, Barbella and Allison are kind of like going outside to look around to see which direction to go in. Boyce, are you with them or are you staying back for this interaction? I'll say that Boyce is hanging back for the moment here. It's just so, so they're they're witness to what's going on, but they're not going to really interrupt with. All right. Uh, can I get a constitution saving throw when you start uh, big dogging the bishop, Reaper? Yeah. Uh, constitution? Mm hmm. I roll an 11. That's pretty good. It's above average. I will say that you notice a no there is a uh, marked increase in the temperature of the water around you. It jumps up. It, like if you had uh, botched, I, I would like you would take fire damage. Uh, but like it's hot around you in this church all of a sudden. 
And the bishop says, I don't think we have the kind of relationship where you can order me around. Reaper, I think maybe if you were a high-ranking member of the church, we could discuss it. That was uh, rather forward of you, and not in the form of a riddle, which you know I hate. I don't care about your riddles. It's my body. I want it back. Of course, it is not your body. It's Master Ever's body, and our deal was that you would jump the sacred queue we've all sworn to protect because you got here early before... The vibe checkers upstairs started doing their thing. You are what's known as a grandfather clause. So uh, look that up if you have the time. I don't want to. I just want the body back. Uh, and if I say no, are you going to punch it out of me? Can I do an insight check on Bishop Bitter Creek? Absolutely. Uh, 19. Um, there's one thing in particular Reaper is thinking. Uh, she wants to know, I guess, the general disposition, but there's also a thought in her mind that Bitter Creek was kind of evasive and weird when, uh, they spoke of a previous person went into the well, and there's a part of her that's curious if Bitter Creek is that person. Hmm. With a 19, I will say no. That's a reference to the epilogue in season nine, when a character went into the ah, well okay. alive. That, that's all that is. Uh, just to clear that one up. Uh, no, I, with the 19, I specifically, uh, you think that uh, people in the D&D world do get real magic powers from faith. And this is a high-ranking religious guy. I'm not saying he would roll you, but he's badass okay. secretly. Um, uh, so, like, if you want to, like, throw hands, he's not... I'm not going to say he's not scared of you. I don't think he wants to get punched because he's kind of a regular guy. But, like, he is statted for fighting, if it comes to that, um, is what I'll say. 19's really good. Um, he's not trying to go back on your deal, but he doesn't like being told what to do. Okay. He finds th that finds that rude. Uh, Reaper is just going to say, then I'll make sure that Alfredo, whoever, comes back, and then we talk about how long this queue is going to be. That sounds wonderful. Riddles are stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> no, I'm not! I'm not stupid! <laughs> How dare you? Get, get out of my church. Only a stupid person would say that. She's gonna swim out real quick. She, she wants the last word. She's very happy that she gets the last yeah. word in this fight. <laughs> he probably mutters something under his breath. You see, like, one of his uh, hands inside of his cloak. Like, he's wearing these big purple priest robes. It's, like, glowing with the the spell Sacred Flame. Uh, <laughs> but he's just, like, fucking riddle disrespecting <laughs> upstart. <laughs> not, not a cool insult, but <laughs> he also thinks he got the last word. Cool. We're both immature children. <laughs> Boyce just like watches all this happen and then just sort of and Gaudi's just sort of like crawling his way around Boyce before Boyce looks over to the bishop's like just gives a little nod tip to Kathleen. Uh, I guess I'll be on my way as well, Bishop. Uh, 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 see, see you later. And then just starts to mosey on out after all that. <laughs> Yep, you're all going south where uh, Barbella feels the riddle snake weakly. It's not a particularly strong ping, but you're going generally the right direction. Anything you want to say or do before we talk about the environment? Yeah, I want to talk to Allison real quick and be like, so what is this kingdom like? Why is it failing so much without a queen? Is there not like a royal line or something? That's what rich people do, right? They have like lineages well first of all the kingdom isn't failing it's actually thriving which is the problem it's very profitable we have a big coral reef you know how your town is like dusty and has like big undersea tumbleweeds and stuff ours isn't like that it's colorful beautiful vibrant which is why everyone wants it and is fighting over it uh there is a royal line it was the prince who overthrew my queen so it's a intergenerational family thing very common is that all your questions Wait, so this is like a like a court politics thing. Yeah, absolutely. There's factions involved? Oh yeah, definitely. Court intrigue. Classic. Which side were you on? The side bringing back the queen so you don't like the prince? 
yes, I'm, I'm loyal to my queen. She's been very good to me. She made me captain of the guard. We go way back. You know, she when she was a kid, I watched over her. We're we're close. That's. I mean, I do want to bring her back. To be clear, my hope is after I protect you from my friends, you let me put her back in the queue. You know, I'm not like giving I, up on that. Yeah. I I I don't obviously don't have a problem with you be with with you going in the having her in the queue. I have just had a th- a thought, and I it's. It's taking me a second to put together. What does this do to democracy if someone new can be put in power after a person dies and then they come back? Do you just have to d- n- take these backsies? Oh, I know that you're in charge now, but the old person is alive again, so you just have to give up the throne? Sure- surely, if the queen comes back... There's then going to be a war over the current, oh, oh, the prince should stay, oh no, the queen should come back. Like, her being alive doesn't automatically put things back how they were, does it? I didn't want to interrupt you there, Sweet Cheeks, but we're monarchists, so democracy, not an issue. Not, okay, not well, d- but my, my point remains. Sorry, I should have realized from prince and queen, but point remains. Yeah, I mean, we, we roll back in with the loyal queen's guard we throw the usurper into an oubliette which is like a big hole where he's gonna stay forever and the queen takes her throne back wouldn't someone just try to kill the prince and then put their body in the well and bring them back well i mean when you say it like that yeah it does seem like resurrection magic does create an intractable power struggle that can't even be ended by death but also look at all of history, which is kind of an intractable power power struggle when you think about it. So, it also means that like a bad monarch can just like really, really keep their run going. Yeah, it also means a strong person can just keep coming back. Hmm. Yeah, it's a lot to think about, much to consider. Uh, glad it's not my problem. It's not mine either. Isn't we- it? It's your kingdom. Oh, sorry. I meant the ethics of the well, not the kingdom. The kingdom is totally my problem. Yeah. Good. Yeah. The ethics aren't our problem, too. We get told who we do and we put them in the hole. Yeah. I'm just doing this until I can kill my master again. <laughs> uh, wait. When you kill your master, which let's just assume that's normal to want to do, what happens? It is. Okay. I assume. Okay. Uh, are you just gonna leave? You're just gonna peace out? You're gonna go work at Burger King? What's what happens then? I assume killing him will allow me to achieve a new level of power, and I'll go about fighting even stronger threats than this. Oh, okay. All in, all in the goal of attaining attaining my true form as the ultimate fighter, of course. It's good to have goals. Honestly, I kind of respect that. Uh, pound mm-hmm. it out. Some would say some would say it's a want and not a need, but. Who am I to judge? <laughs> uh, you all are you all are wild now. I like this group. You all are silly. I don't like you. I want to make that clear. That just makes you more charming, though. Good. Did you remember me when I came back, or when you came back? Uh, no, not. I'm uh, sorry. There was a really bloody buff lady. It was kind of more I, like <laughs> no, yeah. no offense. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you called me cute at some point. <laughs> <laughs> was I, 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 I looking back at the record? I believe she referred to you as a hot priest on uh, several occasions. I, I think at I, least yeah. eight times. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can I get? Yeah. Can I get uh, survival checks navigating uh, the area? Oh, okay. Sure. 17. Six. Uh, 15 with my minus two. 17 and 15, the group passes. I will say you see uh, some uh, pretty uh, rolling hills underwater, like a lot of changes in elevation. Obviously, you can just swim over them. It's not like it's difficult terrain, but noticeably... Uh, as you're like coming over the crest of like an underwater uh, hill, you see uh, before you uh, a large piece of what appears to be farmland. There are fences around it, um, which, you know, you, I don't know how much you know about the farming in this community. We can talk about that, but it seems you need to go through someone else's land if you're going in this direction. 
Um, yeah, is there is there a protocol? Like, if we, if we, like, you know, make an effort to swim and are technically not touching the floor, is that not trespassing? Do we have, like, in the UK, where we have a right to roam? <laughs> yeah, I'm specifically thinking, you know, this is the wild wet, this is kind of a western setting, so if you come upon a cattle ranch and you hop their fence... A uh, cowboy might shoot you with his his revolver. Is a uh, is a uh, risk you're running. I'd like to see him try. <laughs> I would not like to see him try. I would like to not get shot. <laughs> that yeah. So uh, you're approaching the fence. You see uh, uh you know there's movement. I will say there are figures distant and near. Uh, <laughs> you, you would need to roll to know more. Uh, but can can I just start shouting? Whoever owns this farm, just know we're stronger than you and we're going to pass through, okay? <laughs> uh, that's incredible. Again, I reiterate, we're stronger than you, so don't try anything. Yeah. We're stronger and handsomer and or hotter than you. All right, you start saying that and people start moving towards you. There's a couple people who are riding uh, hippocampi, you know, those uh, horse uh, creatures we talked about in the first episode. They're they're underwater cowboys and they come over to you. Uh, they're they're on their way. See? Now they know what's up and they won't bother us. Do they seem chill? Uh they're I mean there's a group of them and they're riding towards you. I was giving you an opportunity to say or do anything before they arrive. Let's say you're you're like at the fence and you can look over and you see the there's like fields of algae and it appears they are farming krill. I assume we all know what krill are. Yeah, little little insecty water things. Yep, they're they're tiny shrimp. Uh, they're at the bottom of the food chain. Everything that you know it lives in the ocean, basically, uh, at some level, owes their life to things eating those things, which eat things, which eat things. They are. Uh, let's see here. In the uh, an estimated biomass of 379 billion tons, making it the species with the largest total biomass. Yeah. Mm. Um. Yeah, Barbella is going to attempt to make a sort of like um bow, like a head down gesture to be like, uh, I'm showing respect and not, you know, planning an assault or anything. Mm-hmm. All right. So everyone's everyone stops and waits for the cowboys to approach. I just want to make sure you don't jump the fence uh, or shoot them or something. <laughs> uh, they're coming straight towards us. I'm just going to wait. All right. Uh, you see uh, that there are a, a mixture of different uh, species of the cowboys. There's a uh, merfolk, kuatoa, water genasi, which is, you know, the basic uh, makeup of the town. But they appear to be led by a very specific guy. I'm going to put a picture in the chat. This is an anthropomorphic sea slug. Uh, but le- let me know how you this picture grabs you. What if a lizard... looks so cute. What if a lizard had feathers for fingers? Yes, like, instead of legs, just, like, feathery fins just all along its side. And uh, a very cool color pattern with, like, almost like they have a a dark blue outline with the way that the color transitions towards their extremities. This would be a water flying type, uh, but Mm -hmm. it has a very small size, so it's actually very difficult to see in the overworld. Mm. Right. But it has an amazing shiny, like top 10 shiny, because this is already a pretty amazing color palette, and they actually nah, want all see, out with this I one. think this would be a real disappointing shiny. They would just, like, make it slightly lighter and do nothing else. Uh, It'd be like a like a Garchomp shiny. Mm, that could happen. There is a Pokemon based on a sea slug. It is Gastrodon. I'm sure we're all familiar. Yeah. That thing's not cute like this at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is a much more exotic sea slug and it doesn't even look like a slug the way you're thinking audience this is called a blue dragon and it makes sense because it literally looks like a blue dragon almost uh they uh in real life are so 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 tiny you could hold one on like the pad of your pinky finger is how big they are uh but they are a beautiful blue color and this this one is uh slightly more anthropomorphic this is a, a species uh, in this world of uh, sea slug people, uh, and this he's wearing a big fucking cowboy hat, <laughs> which he tips to you. Uh, boys reflexively tips uh, their hat in return. Uh, just sure, <laughs> that's how that's how we do it here. 
<laughs> I'm Reaper. I'm the one who's stronger than you. We need to walk through your farm. Uh, hi, hi. I'm going to be slightly more polite than my friend here. Um, uh, is there any chance we could uh, cross your land? We are on a uh, uh, religious pilgrimage. You might, you might call it. And uh, the the joy of religion is that uh, I'm kind of following a compass bearing in my head a little bit. First of all, nice to meet y'all. I'm Lucius. I'm running the the ranch hands around here. Uh, to answer your question, no. This is our land, and you can, I believe the technical term is, fuck yourself. So, uh... Oh, was... what? Well, not not even if I tell you an interesting riddle? No, that wouldn't wouldn't j- change things at all? Uh, no ma'am, that's not gonna do it. I'm afraid uh, property rights are sacred, and this land belongs to not you. So you cannot swim here. You can turn around, and you can go home. And that'll be the end of it. Why do you own it? Did you battle the land and win and prove yourself superior through dominance? I didn't understand most of the words you said, but I do know the word dominance, and if we're going to do that, I got a couple of uh, surprises you might enjoy. And uh, all the cow, all the cow pokes uh, kind of reveal they have wands on their uh, belts, the way an old West gunslinger yes. would have a revolver. I just did a big fight. I don't want to do another big fight. Can can we not like? Can we not? Can we not? Reaper is going to raise her hands, which are radiating shadow energy, and say, "I've taken on more than this just today." And no. uh, roll fifteen for intimidation. Mm. Fifteen is very good. Uh, something about Lucius the Blue Dragon. Uh, I needed more than that. He does. I will say with a fifteen. Uh, not dismiss you. He does not say, like, oh, you're a punk-ass bitch, I could smoke you. He just says, uh, I think maybe you don't know who you're messing with. And he reaches into his, uh, shirt pocket, pulls something out, and flicks it in your direction, Reaper. Probably would have been nice to to make it where you could catch it, but probably does it at your feet, so you have to bend over. Uh... Reaper is going to specifically keep her pose with these uh, shadowy flaming fists and just say, can someone else tell me what it is? I'm <laughs> sticking in this position. Uh, uh, voice lets uh, uh, Gaudi like, pick up the item and, and retrieve it for him. Uh, I'll note that Boyce doesn't like brandish like any wands or whatever. I mean, they have their 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 green plans, uh, green prints rather, out and available, and they're manifested mind kind of like floating around their head like showing different schematic patterns mathematical equations maybe a mathematical riddle or two maybe uh but what is the item that was thrown towards reaper uh boys you recognize this pin you've seen one like it before it has a Uh yellow Mm. banana on it oh the banana boys how about y'all get Ah, I see. I mean, it's weird that you're you're uh, advocating for property rights. You know, it's weird because people will talk about property rights as if you just merely put your work out into the world, suddenly the world becomes your property. But then at which point, how does one respect property rights if they don't respect it themselves? And that's kind of a quandary I would pose to you. Uh, as posited by the the much refuted and rightfully uh, lambasted philosopher John Crock, you know he just he he says a big game about uh, about property rights, but I think we have other means to discuss these terms. If you uh, catch my drift, boy, I hope you jump this fence so I can shoot something through your mouth. Is it like a rule, like the second we cross over, that's when you get angry? I can do whatever I want from this side? Can I just throw, like, shurikens into your head? I ain't a lawyer. Do what you want. Come on this land and see what happens. Can we not offer you anything for, like, nice, calm passage across here? Like... I, I don't know. What what do the rest of you offer that isn't riddles? Um, architecture? A nice diagram of a building? I, I I do have an idea, which is to, like, let this go and, like, wait for them to, like, shuffle off. And then I want to cast Pass Without Trace so we could just go through there, try to sneak through their land. Uh-huh. Because Reaper at this point is, like, 
I'm not taking the long way around. This mission's already been too long. But I'll just sneak by because you can't possibly uh, stand up to my shadow martial arts. Yeah, so this is uh, the Pass Without a Trace is an incredibly good spell, but we did see it go wrong against the, the Medusas before, so uh, if you want to roll those bones, I would love to see them. Mm, sure. Yeah, ev everyone gets an additional plus 10 to your uh, stealth rolls. All right. 18? Uh, 28. 34 crit! 